So Vince McMahon is backstage very powderly walking around. And he comes out for a promo. So <laughs> WCW has just invaded again. Twice in two weeks now. And Vince mentions this and then says, I'm sure Shane wants me to rebut, wants me to say something. But I'm not going to. I'm going to talk about Chris Benoit. And that was it. No one ever mentioned it again. So he tears, tears into Benoit for a while. You're an animal. Steve Austin beat you twice in one week. You're a sadist who suplexed Austin ten times. I just want to remind you all, Steve Austin is still WWF champion. And Benoit, your reward is a match with a big show. At this point, Mick Foley interrupts. This segment went on for three hours. <laughs> I I was it was long. I enjoyed this though. I was highly entertained by Vince in this segment. I thought Vince and Foley and the third person who we'll get to shortly were all awesome. They were awesome. But this was a long fucking segment. It was a long segment. I'm not gonna argue the length. So Foley plugs his book, which is now it's his second week as a New York Times bestseller, plugs his feature in People magazine, but he's not here to talk about his book. He's here to talk about this book, Mark. And in the pages of his book, he has one of his secret contracts that he signed with Linda. This one, he says, allows him to book a main event on any Raw of his choosing. He is choosing this Raw. He books Austin versus Jericho for the title with both Chris Benoit and Vince McMahon banned from ringside. And Vince has apparently been studying up on these contracts. He says that contract was signed in Stamford. It is valid only in the state of Connecticut. You have no authority here. So Foley says, I thought you might say that. I put in a call to another best-selling author, Minnesota's own governor, Jesse Ventura. Jesse comes out. At this point, at least, everyone in Minnesota just loved him. He's the most popular guy on the show. And Jesse is so awesome just standing, standing up to Vince. You couldn't control me when I worked for you, and you don't control me now. There are more powerful people in the world than you, and I am one of them. Place is just going nuts. Vince is purple with rage. Yes. His eyes are bloodshot. He's about to cry. It's just unbelievable. He says, I'm doing an executive mandate to grant the official status of Foley's contract. He signs it, wishes Foley a nice day. He leaves, and Foley promises one more surprise before the night is through, and he leaves, and music plays. Like, this is completely illogical. The, Minnesota, the governor of Minnesota cannot overwrite a, a Connecticut contract, but it was so fun. I think we need to get that deep into it, Vinny. No. That's why it's preposterous. His big surprise is that he is the troubleshooting referee. I could have event. never guessed. Which is funny because, like, why aren't you the ref? Yeah. Well, he is. So it's Jericho versus Austin with Foley as the ringside troubleshooter. Uh, Austin immediately throws Jericho into Mick on the floor. So then later, every time Austin gets thrown outside, Austin, uh, Foley throws him back in. Austin hits a low blow behind the ref's back. So Foley takes the ref so Jericho can hit one of his own. And Jericho is making his comeback when the ref gets bumped and Jericho gets the walls. And Foley hits the ring to see if Austin submits. The place is going crazy. And then Regal runs out and attacks Foley. And then Regal's Where the hell was Jesse Ventura? Don't well, but back to governor apparently. Mm -hmm. He he was, if you've forgotten, the active governor for the state of Minnesota at this time. Well yeah, but I yeah. mean he's at the show. Yeah. He's back at the mansion. What the hell was happening on a Monday night at you know, eleven o'clock? I, I don't Minnesota? Have... Are you kidding? Nothing he needs to govern. I don't have an answer. So Regal's brought in with Jericho. Foley goes in with a chair. Jericho gets hit with a chair. And he gets thrown back in the ring. He still kicks out of that, and the place goes crazy. But then Austin just grabs him and stuns him and wins. And I think, well, that was stupid. What's the point of this? Are they doing a Regal Foley program? Is Regal going to feud with Jericho again? But no. Regal gets put in the Boston Crab, and Foley sucks Mr. sticks Mr. Socko down his throat. And the fans are cheering. And that's it. They just didn't have a finish for this match. So they did a wacky screw job schmoz and then beat up the the uh, non champion bad guy to send the phone send the fans home happy and that was it. So that was a lame finish, but it was a fun match. Well, last week's Benoit match was like an all time classic. This was not an all time classic, but it was good. It was a good team. The big event. difference is Benoit and Austin just did like a total Japanese style match. They just beat the shit out of each other the entire time and went back and forth. And this was a WWE match. Jericho gets his shine. Get the heat on Jericho, make the comeback, 
a fucking ref bump, a run in. I mean, it was by the numbers a WWE match. And it was still a pretty good one, which is a testament to both guys. Yep. That you could have a good match with all that shit going on. Well, that's what happened.